exclusively here at Mystery Island. I hope you had the greatest day learning about our one true God and how great God is. So you have learned a lot of cool stuff. You have learned about Paul. You have learned about God is the awe-inspiring creator. You learned your memory verse, hopefully. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised and his greatness is unsearchable. Psalms 145, three. There's only one God that is revealed in the Bible and you can't make up a God of your own choosing. Our God is so special that he is the one true God. And you got to do some really cool things with deep sea experiments and deep sea crafts. You made a sailboat to remember that there's, you have to have the perfect sail to move on the water, to be able to sail in the right direction, right? You can't have all the missing pieces. You have to have all of the pieces line up and match so that you can go in the right direction. Well, today we talked about that the chameleon is the creature feature. Now I've got some funny jokes. Why did the chameleon get an award? Because he was one in a chameleon. One in a million, one in a chameleon. Okay, okay. Why did the chameleon wear the same clothes everyone else had on? So he could blend in. <laughs> Get it? Because they're camouflaged. They like to blend in with their environment. So he wore the same thing. Okay, good. Um, why did the chameleon decide to take the lifeguard job? Well, because there was just a chameleon reasons. <laughs> Get it? There's so many reasons. Okay. Anyways, you have these cool jokes in your packet in your kit. So make sure you get those memorized and you can go tell some really cool jokes to your neighbors and your friends or call up grandma and grandpa. I'm sure they would love it. Well, so there's only one God that's revealed in the Bible and God was such an cr amazing creator. And so one of the creatures that he made was the chameleon. So this is this chameleon. Well, there's a couple different kinds. This is a veiled chameleon. They're the ones that have the cool points. This is a panther chameleon. Um, this is the kind of chameleon that we actually have at our house. There's so many different kinds of chameleons out there. The smallest chameleon literally could sit on your pinky. It's about the size of a quarter. And the largest chameleon is actually the size of like a small cat. It's pretty crazy. It's almost like, the, like a big iguana if you think about it that way. Well, God designed the chameleon's eyes so that they could move in all different directions. So if you look at chameleon eyes, they are circular and they come out a little bit and then they can move. So they almost slide around and because they're out, they can look farther on each side and up around. But what makes their eyes even cooler is that their eyes can do different things at the same time. So while this eye might be looking over here and seeing, this eye can keep an eye on what's maybe happening down below or over here. So the eyes can move completely independent of each other so that they can keep safe. Okay, now, if you look this way and that way, humans can't do that with all of our eyes, but God gave us, gave them super special traits. Now, chameleons also have very, very cool tongues. Chameleons' tongues are longer than the size of their body. It's just crazy. Okay, so what I want you to do is stick out your tongue. Bleh. I just had goldfish, so hopefully I didn't have anything. Chameleon's tongues are longer than their entire body. And now, see, it says, see how fast you can stick your tongue out and get it back in your mouth. That wasn't very fast, right? Well, a chameleon's tongue is so quick that it actually moves faster than a fighter jet can take off. Like, that's just crazy because these chameleons can stick out their tongues so fast that whatever they're trying to catch doesn't even have a chance to see it. They don't have a chance like a cricket. He can't even jump away in time because that chameleon's tongue is just so fast. And then what's even cooler about their tongues? They are like super sticky. It is amazing. Now, Skittles, our chameleon at home, has um, licked us a couple times or he'll, if we have food um, on our hands, like Matthew will sometimes feed him. 
and he's shot it out and if he has missed, which doesn't happen very often, but of course we all can, we all make mistakes, right? But if he hits it, his tongue will actually get stuck to your hand because it's so sticky and he'll have to come over kind of like he's winding his tongue up, kind of bite down, not really bite, but kind of so that his tongue can release and let go because it's so sticky. Now, have you ever had where you wanted to just blend in? Maybe you just wanted to watch something or maybe you wanted to be sneaky and scare your brother or your sister. And so you just kind of wanted to blend in. You have to be super quiet and maybe you'll find something that you can't see. So if I was in like a field of flowers, maybe you guys couldn't see me. Well, that's what makes chameleons super cool is they can change their colors. And most of the time it's depending on how they're feeling. God designed their skin with so many different layers that it gives them all these beautiful patterns. They also have very special tails. Now these tails are almost like an entire extra hand. They are able to wind on. Now our chameleon at home, Skittles, he, their hands go like this, so right? They have two and so they'll hold on to different things. They have long claws to help them but they can also completely let go, do all of these acrobatic type things. And, but if he can't hold on with his hand, he always has his tail connected to something. This way, even if he has to let go to be able to move to a different place or whatever, he always keeps his tail attached. It's like a backup plan. God is our backup plan. God is our plan no matter what, no matter what we need from God, God is great and he is going to give us everything that we need. I'm so glad you came to visit us here at Mystery Island and learn about how great God is. Well, you've done it. You've gotten through day one. God is great and greatly to be praised and his greatness is unsearchable. I'm so glad that you got to learn about Paul, learn about how great God is, learn about how cool Camo the Chameleon is. So that's right. You earned it, day one on your treasure map. Great is the one and only God. So go ahead and find your stickers. It has a number one on it and says great. And then you're gonna put it on your treasure map. You've gotten through day one here at Mystery Island. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Now, what I want you to do, you saw that I kind of wore my cool island theme. I had my hat. And I've got another island shirt for tomorrow and another hat. So I challenge you to dress up tomorrow. Get something fun on. Maybe you want to wear a swimming suit. Maybe you have a cool beach hat. Or maybe you've got something that looks islandy, nice and bright and colorful. And take your pictures to show us what you're wearing for day two here at Mystery Island. And we might be able to give out some prizes. And... We're just so excited that you want to learn more about the one true God. Thanks again for coming along and we'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. Bye!